Today, we are going to look at DJI FPV Remote Controller 2. First, the power button. It used to check your current battery level, like press one time, it shows here. To turn on the remote controller, press one time and then hold. The same way, just press one time and then hold. Turn it off. This is the lanyard attachment. You can use it to put your neck strap and then you can hold it on your chest and then you can work, work to do that. The other good thing is you can use to hook up your GoPro camera to record all your joystick actions. So like when you start to do your sky actions and at the same time you need to record all your joystick moves. So you can put your GoPro camera here and then you can start recording your joystick movements. So where is the joystick? It's here. So when you get the new DJI FP remote controller, they will put the joystick here. So it'll be in this slot. You can take it out and then you can hook it up here. So let's do that. And I personally recommend don't do this all the time, like taking it out and then putting it back here, storing it. Just do one time, just install it. And after that, don't do that again and again. So leave it there forever. So the next thing is the C1 button used to control from your goggles. So this is just press once to adjust the coordinations or you can use it twice to enable like a beeping sound there. You can use the C1 function for um, to beep your aircraft. Like example, if your aircraft is in a, a bush somewhere and you couldn't be able to find it, so use the C1 buttons to beep. And you can see there is a USB-C port. So this USB-C port is for charging and also you can hook up to your computer to play simulators and other stuff. So we can see that in detail in the later part. That's pretty much of all this thing here. So quickly, I can tell you like um, how this works. This is just for the throttle. And uh, currently this is in a manual mode. I just tighten up so I can control the throttle rather than leaving the remote controller to um, control that. But when it comes in a brand new, it won't be like this. It'll be like this. So the next thing is, you can see on the front. Before we get into the buttons, you can see here, this is your antenna. This will connect with your aircraft and it has its own frequency. For Avatar and Avatar 2, you don't have to worry about the frequency. So this frequency will automatically match with it. It will automatically sync. But if you are going for more custom FPV uh, aircrafts or anything you are designing by yourself, um, that you need to set up the frequency. So the frequency and uh, for any DIY FPVs, so that would be completely a different one, which we can see that in later part. So going back to your um, keys, the buttons. But now we'll see all the buttons there in your remote controller. So you can see your a pause button and RTH. RTH is nothing but return to home. When you're in action and you want to uh, like a break, it's a kind of an a hard break. Uh, for your aircraft, you can just uh, just press the pause button. Automatically, whatever the directions, whatever the action your aircraft is performing, it will stop that and it will come to a hover in place. It won't do any action, like it won't throttle, it won't move forward, backward, nothing. It just hover in the same place wherever it's, uh, it's located. Most primarily, like when you are in the manual mode, you need this pause button. This will be more helpful when you are in the manual mode because you might be doing so much actions with your manual operation. Uh, like you'll be rolling, you'll be uh, doing multiple flips, whatever. If you think that your aircraft is going to get crashed or it's going out of control, you can just simply press this pause button and you'll bring it to your control. Like it just start hovering in the same spot, wherever it is. Then you can slowly gain control on your aircraft and then you can bring it back to your home. Or you can just hold this and that will initiate your RTH, which is return to home. Pause button, just to hover your aircraft in the same spot to avoid your dangerous situations or whatever you're performing, whatever the actions you're performing. You want to stop that and immediately bring it to a uh, normal mode, just press pause button. And 
if it's going out of control or okay i don't want it to control anymore let's bring it back to my home just hold it for some time and the rth will get initiated and then your aircraft start coming back to your home location when i say home that's where your aircraft is started so whenever your aircraft starts from the ground it will mark that position as your as its own so wherever it goes when you initiate the rth it go it comes back to the same spot where it started and you can see here the three switch three mode switch it says n s n so it says n s n so by default it will be in normal mode and you can switch it to sports mode and also you can switch it to manual mode but manual mode won't work until you set up that configurations in your goggle you need to go to the goggle you need to go to the controller and there you will switch it to the manual mode then this manual mode will work from your remote controller it's for the safety reason because a manual mode is more complicated uh, i don't say it's complicated it's more risky until unless you learn how to operate in the manual mode the normal mode you can start it with your remote controller it just hover goes forward backward but there won't be any flips you cannot make any action based flips using the normal and the sports mode normal and the sports mode it's purely used to do your yaw do your rolls but it's not going to flip in your normal and sports mode and this is we call it as c2 switch it's more customizable you can using your goggle you can set up whatever the operations you want so this can be uh map it to your gimbal uh, adjustment and also you can use it to map your aircraft motors like you can start or stop your aircraft motor using this bar switch it's quite risky i don't really recommend to use the c2 switch to uh, map it to start and stop motor because uh, by mistake when you are running in your manual mode and you are doing some stunt or whatever the actions you are performing by mistake if you touch this key touch this switch and put it to stop motor you are completely shutting down your aircraft motor to stop so that will throw your aircraft anywhere so i personally don't recommend to use this c2 switch to start and stop the motor i'll tell you in the manual mode how to start and how uh in the normal mode how it starts so that is the safest method or uh, safest way to start your aircraft rather than using this c2 switch to start and stop like example in your normal mode and sports mode you just put it like this or uh, both the both the joystick and that will start your aircraft and then you can start controlling it if you want to start in your manual mode you just completely throttle down and then press the start button twice and that will start your uh, aircraft uh by default when you get this remote controller and your goggles you know, the default mapping will be with your gimbal's adjustment so how that gimbal adjustment will be is like as as you see here the hub arrow is for the top angle of your gimbal so your camera angle will be on the top and then when it comes to the uh center it's going to be like exactly uh straight and then when it goes to the down it's going to look at, at the bottom so that's pretty much on the c2 switch button you can see here a gimbal adjustment it goes left and right you can see so this is to adjust your camera angle you will have to have camera angle from top to bottom like you can adjust anywhere so the other one good thing is this shutter button this shutter or record button you can use it to start and stop the recording press once to take photos or you can use it to start and stop the recording so it's just one time press that is to take a photograph and press and hold to switch between photo and the video mode so you can use this to switch from the photo mode and also to the video mode just by pressing and holding it for a few seconds 